you're just gonna generate a list of random numbers with Dynamo. So we go to a new file, we look for math random. Then we have here different uh, functions. Random produces a, a random number, uh, whereas random produces a random number with a seed. So we can control the seed to make sure that every time we input the same seed, we're going to get the same random number. And we can also uh, get a random number between two numbers and then get a random list of numbers, right? So math rand is going to give us a random number, which I believe is determined by the moment that we instantiate this component. So if we copy it now, this number is different, right? So I just want you to remember that this number is, well, we're actually not going to have to remember it. We're going to copy it here. So Just gonna write here that this number is nine four seven eight one six six five, and I'm gonna save this graph. So if I close this now, and I open, this number is different. So that means that the seed for the random number has changed, and our graph is not gonna be consistent across executions. Whereas if I set this number here, for example, with a seed of one, I'm going to get 0.248. And you can see that now this number is 74, three something. So if we save and reopen, now you can see that this number has the same seed for generating a random number and we get the same number, but this one once again has changed. Uh, what we can do now is create an input slider and we're going to specify between which numbers we want the random number to be. Right, so you get that, and we're going to do the same thing. We're once again going to log the number, and here we're going to get four random numbers. Gonna close and open again. All right. So as you can see, this is something that is gonna generate random numbers every time we open the graph. This one as well. And this is the only one that's gonna keep the same number as long as we keep the seed. So we can see that if we change the seed of this, we keep getting different numbers and we're going to be able to maintain this number throughout sessions. I'm not sure what your intention is or what you need, but basically these three are going to refresh and every time we close and open the graph and this is going to be consistent throughout sessions. If you want to get multiple random numbers because this number is from 0 to 0 0.99. I don't know if it ever gets to 1. I don't think so. No, it doesn't. So basically, if we want to get something between, for instance, 
zero and two, right? Like if we want to get a number that is between those two, what we just need to do is multiply it. So multiply by two, this number, and now we're remapping the value from zero to nine, nine to zero to 1.99. See, now we get values that go from 0 to 1.999, never 2. If we want many of those numbers, right, I am, now I'm going to get rid of, of all of this. What we do is that instead of inputting one seed, we make a series from 0 to 512 and input that as our seed or let's actually better well we can do that right but we're gonna always have the same random numbers so we're gonna have a list of random numbers from 0 to 1.99 you can see 1.99 there and almost 0 here and the next thing that we can do is multiplying these numbers by starting index. So if now we input this here, right, we're gonna get numbers that are between 0 and 1.99 but we're going to be able to change them and there will still be consistent across sessions we're gonna verify that right now and then that'll be it so we have here 1.45 and 0.97 and then at the bottom of the list we have 0.786 right and that's it so we're gonna save this and i'm gonna close i'm gonna reopen and you can see that the first two numbers match and that the last number matches again this is 34.2 that's gonna be our our seed right that we're multiplying by numbers but if I change it, I get completely different numbers. And if I put 34.2 again, we get the same matching numbers.